<laughs> what? Ow! Wow. Sick wife, I didn't dude. I you that hard. Sick Look, there's not cannibalistic even any wife. There's not even any marks on mm -hmm. you. No marks. I'm going to bleed to death. <laughs> what? The Oracle is a brand new 2023 horror, horror horror film on HBO Max. The Max. The Max. The Max is Hubbo. the place from Saved by the Bell. This is just Max. Yeah. Nowadays. We don't have HBO anymore. We yeah. just got Max. It's Max. So, yeah. This movie. Okay, so we got a little blend of some movies here, right? So we got a little bit of Antebellum, which is like, mm -hmm. you know, probably what it's going to get compared to most. I could see people being like, get out mm -hmm. to a degree with a uh, with some story beats of House of the Devil. So yeah. we've got this young lady, a, a black young lady who is, and that's important, not just being racist or something. But she does look a lot like Brandy. Oh, yeah, you were saying from that. <laughs> I still know what you did last summer. Yeah. And I had to, like, look up her pictures to confirm she looked just like her. Because people are like, you think all black people look the same? No, look it up. The chick looks exactly <laughs> the damn same. Anyways. So, she uh, is in college. And she ain't making enough dough. Which, right. man, that's relatable. Yeah. And she already has a job, but it ain't enough. And so she sees this person has an ad for uh, this job. Although, honestly, in the movie, it's kind of weird because the girl walks past her. So the, the woman who wants to hire is played by Heather Graham. Yeah. And she, like, walks past her outside her job and recognizes her. Yeah. So she, like, what, has a picture on, like, an Indeed or something? And she's like, hey... Maybe, yeah. Because she didn't apply uh, to that job. No, That's but the... she got like a job, like she got some email to her phone. So she probably does have like a job board yeah. profile okay. that allows employers to look at her. Well, I was slightly confused about that, but I think that's what's going on. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Essentially, she gets, uh, she gets offered this job uh, to come out to a former plantation to babysit some kids mm -hmm. and of course she is uh hesitant she has some reservations um and she decides to go out anyway because she needs the money mm -hmm. um and when she gets out there there are some remnants of the past lingering yes. i'll let you fill in what that means yourself um Okay, so the movie is fine. It's fairly generic in a lot of ways. It's well shot. The acting's fine. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's fine. Um, it has a pretty good twist. Yeah. That I definitely didn't see coming. Yeah, I didn't either. That being said, the twist doesn't come towards the end. And while I liked that, aspects i still didn't know how it made sense in all of the story yeah. like the last 10 minutes or so is very confusing to me yeah i pretty much liked everything in the film um and i did like the twist but i agree i think like the last 10 minutes is where i just kind of fell off with this i was so confused about like how it worked not the necessarily like the plot like why and like how it fits in like that part i got but <laughs> i just i thought it was very confusing and i don't know maybe maybe we're dumb and we're just not understanding but i also feel like it was fairly kind of straightforward like what was happening too? I thought so too. Like that's they were why basically I was so saying, confused. like, this is what it is, and that's what I was confused about. I was like, how could it be that though? I don't get it. But other than that, like, I think that the house is really cool. Um, I liked the performances from everybody. I liked Heather Graham in this. Um, I thought that there was some cool 
like I guess it's not cool, but there was some sort of like funny, awkward moments with yeah. her and yeah. our um, lead character. And yeah, other than that, though, I mean, it's it's not it's not a super unique film, um, but it was well done. Um, you know, I, I can definitely see people finding this to be like woke and oh, annoying sure. because of that or whatever. Um, but I, I did like some of the imagery with mm. the main antagonist. I did I too. thought that they looked particularly eerie at points. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think if this film would have not had a confusing ending, it would have been a little higher on mm. it. I still wouldn't have been super high or anything. I would have just been like, yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. And I still think it's a very watchable movie. Mm -hmm. I would never watch it again, but I, th I enjoyed my time with it enough. It was it was a serviceable film that had some cool things going on in it and had a twist that I was like, oh yeah, okay. I'd... The twist is the only thing that, and and the confusing ending are the things that make me want to watch it again to try and like understand it better. Yeah, sure, I agree. I think the twist probably works great. And, yeah. you know, if you go back and rewatch it, it'll actually make that cooler. Mm -hmm. But the finding out why, how this happens, I, I would really like to know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason I'd want to go back. But, um, yeah. And there's one kill that oh, is okay. Mm. Um, I was not expecting there to be any honestly mm -hmm. because it's like a haunted house type thing right and that to me is like usually spells like low body count mm -hmm. and none um but yeah I, I i think you know as far as the characters go you got the roommate who's fine you've got the uber driver guy who's fun and and cute and endearing um the kids the kids are good um so yeah i i didn't find the characters to be too annoying or anything so yeah it's a, it's a fine film yeah i i just i don't know i i i i, I do think the ending hurts the movie because i mm. do think a lot of people will be scratching their head being yeah. like wait what how huh i agree but outside of that it's it's a it's a totally fine watch yeah unless you're like super triggered by representation right <laughs> <laughs> then i don't know seek counseling yeah all right guys that's it